Hello and welcome everyone. Happy Friday. I'm so glad that you're all here. Thank you for stopping by. We're going to be doing something different for today's video as I call it a little bit of this and that. Nonetheless, I hope you all find it enjoyable. Today I'll be showing you a couple of things that we saw when we were out and about on Saturday and then I'm going to show you some things that I plan on doing to the kitchen. So we went for a drive to check out any nearby garage sales that might be going on and took a short drive over to our old neighborhood, Greenwood Forest, here in Houston. It's a beautiful older neighborhood and of course we had to drive by our old house that we sold six and a half years ago. It's still very pretty but the new owners have stripped out all the hydrangeas, roses, foxgloves, hollyhocks, etc. that I had planted. Oh well, to each their own, right? But I was really happy to see that they left the front entry doors painted red, which we did when we lived there. They look so beautiful even now. Okay, back to the video. Anyway, we drove down one of the streets and pass by this beautiful home coming up you'll see in a moment and i just had to stop and take photos of their obviously custom made birdhouses oh my gosh you guys they were huge and fabulous so let's take a look at them i snapped these photos from the car because i didn't want to invade their privacy walking around on the street front snapping photos like a crazy woman you know what i mean I'm sure most of you know that it usually rains a lot here in Houston, so these birdhouses are weathered but still are so beautiful. Talk about birdhouse envy. I sure admire these and the craftsmanship that went into creating them is amazing. All right, my sweet friends, let's chat about a few small changes that I want to make in the kitchen. It's nothing big, just small but fun changes that will make a nice impact and add a little bit more much needed character. Here's a quick photo of my kitchen from a video I did a couple weeks ago, just to refresh your memory. However, it doesn't look like this right now because we have things taken down in preparation for making the changes. One of the first things we'll be adding are these two wooden corbels that I purchased a while back at Hobby Lobby. I wanted to add a little something to this area above the kitchen sink, so I plan on adding these corbels where the arrows are pointing on the upper cabinets. I think they'll give a little more character and add a nice touch to an otherwise plain area above the sink. Next on the hit list are these cabinet poles. I'm either going to paint them a rubbed bronze color or replace them all together. Either way, they have to go. Okay guys, here I'm showing you my Robin's Egg Blue chandelier that hangs above the island. It's a non-working chandelier so I can move it and place it just about anywhere I want to. What I'm gonna do is hang it up inside that tray ceiling area behind it and then I'm going to hang a decorative ladder where the chandelier is now and I think that will look great. I'll be able to hang some of my handmade baskets and other things on it so I'm really looking forward to adding that to my kitchen area. This is my island that we made over from an antique Jacobean buffet. Uh, about a year or so ago and let me tell you it's a workhorse it gets used for many things as well as casual dining and we just love it I wanted to get a new table runner for it but they're usually too long at 72 inches long and the island is only 54 inches long so unless I make my own which I have done in the past the store-bought ones don't fit properly well when I was in Hobby Lobby the other day I found this jute rug and love the texture which is what I was wanting anyway so I thought why not use it for a table topper or runner for the island and at 66% off it was a steal. So ladies 
Don't be afraid to think outside the box and try something a little different that just might be exactly what you're looking for. And here's how it looks on my island. I love it. Okay friends, now we're going to switch gears for a moment and talk about something else from Hobby Lobby. I've actually been pondering purchasing two of these fringe country chests for my living room. They're about the perfect size to go in front of my two side windows and would offer some extra storage. The only reservation I have is the quality. Normally I'd be looking for a pair of high quality antique or vintage chests, but because they can't be too deep to fit there, vintage pieces are not usually easily found in their size or in pairs. So my question to you all is, have any of you purchased this chest? And if so, how well does it function and hold up to wear? And if you have, please do leave me a comment and tell me your thoughts about it. I'd appreciate that so much. All right, sweet friends, that'll do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you'll come back next week to see some of the changes we're making here at the condo. You all take care and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye, my lovelies.